Hi, boys and girls. Um, how are you all, children? I hope that all of you are blessed by God, and I believe that you just listen to God's story, right? About Samson, Samson chosen by God to help the Israelites against the Philistine. And in this story, Samson about to get married too to the lady from Palestine. And on the way he supposed to go to see her, he decided to stop by and he did uh, defeating the lions. And he saw there is a uh, beehives inside the skeleton of the lion. Now, because of that beehives, um, Samson grabs the honey inside it and ate it. And when he ate it, he shared it with his parents. And now I love to teach you how to draw beehives, okay? Uh, it's very easy and let's have fun together. First of all, grab your pencil and grab your eraser and I have watercolor here and also I have water to wash my brush and I have brush with me. Okay, and also I have paper. Uh, the paper towel is just to dry up my brush after I wash it, okay? And also, I will have the color pencil. I have color pencil right here. And also, uh, I might need a marker or Sharpie. Most of the time, we need Sharpie just to do outlines. But if you don't have it, we can only use the color pencil. So I have two, one black and one brown. I might need a yellow one too. If you have yellow, you can grab yellow. But if you don't have yellow, do not worry about it, okay? Okay, now are you ready? I have uh, my paper here. Now, I want to put my beehives right in the middle, okay? So if you have your paper, I don't know how big your, your paper is, you put it, you draw the beehive right in the middle, okay? Now, first of all, we're gonna draw the top of the bee, beehives. Uh, you know what I would do? I gonna put it right in the middle. And please don't draw dark because we will erase, okay? Uh, for the detail. Now I gonna draw a curve line. So I gonna draw a nice curve line right in the middle right here, okay? Now after the curve line, I gonna bring it down the my left side to another curve line going down. I gonna bring it down and open it up, make it wider wider curve line okay i gonna open and open it up bring it down and i stop right there and i gonna do on the other side try to make another curve line okay make it nice curve line go down go down and go down right there okay and guess what? I'm gonna try to put them together with curve line. I'm gonna connect this corner and this corner with the curve line, right? Not straight line. But this curve line is almost like a straight line, okay? And I'm gonna continue my curve line from the top going down. I'm gonna bring it down, bring it down, and then make a little bit more curve going to the inside. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna do on the other side right here. Making a pretty much curve line like on the other side. Bring it down, bring it down. I try to reach the same length like on the other side. Now I stop right here. I'm gonna try this together, connect them with the curve line. It looking like an egg right now. Okay, so basically this line, we try to grab almost half of it. Okay, now I'm going to divide into sections, into part, by giving another curve line on the top over here. This curve is pretty much the same as the one we did here and try to make another one you see the distance between this line and this line this is pretty much the same as pretty much uh, similar to the other side over here to the bottom side okay so we're gonna make another curve line and try to make another one again right here okay now that is the top the half going up to the top now we're gonna do the going down this curve line we make it the same distance and then making another one right try not to press your pencil i make it dark right now so that you can see my line you just keep going you're going down okay so i have it like that okay and you know where is the hole let me see maybe i can create the hole right here where the bee can go in and out okay so we're gonna make almost like a window going down this way okay make it nice curve and i think i better stop right where the line is and what happened with this line i'm gonna erase it okay because i don't need this line from the inside hole inside the beehive okay so i'm gonna draw it like that so the bee can be in and out and guess what this line over here i'm gonna try to make another one like this one very close together between this and the new line inside right here you're going up and you try to connect them there you are this is looking like the thickness of the beehives okay now we're gonna try to create the honey the honey from the bottom of this line we're gonna create the honey coming out okay so what happened that the honey starting from this line here okay we're gonna bring a curve line like that and going down the little tiny curve line and drop it down another curve line okay and then i make a u-turn okay and from here i'm gonna try to make a like a wave line right here going this way okay and try to connect on this corner right here okay that is the honey and then you see this is the line that where we stop for the opening beehive right so on this line i'm gonna create another curve line inside a little bit from this corner okay i'm gonna make it a little curve going another curve make it like a little wave and going up and then i stop right here there is the honey that is coming out from the opening and after that i will erase the line inside it here i erase it so that i only can see the honey coming out from the opening okay so this is the very yummy sweet honey okay now i'm gonna try to 
um, eventually I'm gonna erase this line. Why? Because this, you see this corner here, the line and this line, we're gonna try to do the detail, okay? So I'm gonna make it nice curve, connect like this. Okay, what happened with the line over here? I'm gonna erase it, okay? So what I see is only this curve over here. And then I make another connection between this line and this line with another curve line. And then I connect it again with another curve line. And then connect it again from this line to the next line with another curve line. Okay, and then I'm just gonna keep going to connect one corner to another corner and then connect again to another corner okay and connect again with another corner and then this one is basically is the bottom one right now like what i did i erase the line the first line right so i'm gonna try to erase the side line after i create this curve line so it looking like the honey uh, the beehives okay so this what will happen after we erase the line we see only the curve line how about on the other side we will do the same thing so this corner and this corner okay i'm gonna connect them with the curve line on the outside right here okay and then try to connect from one point to another point and connect again and make it another big connections and make curve line again connect them make sure you connect from one corner to another corner okay so it's looking like that and what happened with the line the first line that we did we just need to erase it okay we erase we erase we erase we erase we erase and we erase okay so now after you erase it you only see this line you the one that we draw it okay so this is gonna be the outside detail so this is the honey the beehives okay with this this is all the honey here now we're gonna try to draw the bee cute bee how about that first we just gonna you know what i'm gonna put the bee over here with the circle for the face right and then from the top you're gonna make it nice cute round make a u-turn and going back to the face okay and then make teeny tiny pointy on the back here from the back of the body okay and then this is like the sting b and then the back i mean the top we're gonna do the wing you're going up make it nice curve and go you turn and going back okay and then you're making another one you're going up, you turn, and going back. What is this? This is the wing, right? And then on the top of the head, you're going to make an antenna. You make a nice curve and make a teeny tiny circle. Make another nice curve and make a teeny tiny circle. Okay, so you're going to create a teeny tiny dot inside for the eye. How about the body? Yeah, in the bee's body, we see there is yellow and black stripe. So this line, they're close together, curve line, and making another curve line, and another curve line right here. Okay? That is one bee. How about I'm making the smaller bee on the top over here? I'm gonna do the circle, small circle, and this time I'm gonna bring it 
up the calf line make a turn for the body and going back to the face line and make it pointy cute pointy small one on the back and then here I gonna make nice curve line going up, you turn going back. Okay, and from the this point, I gonna create another going out line curve, you turn and going back. Okay, and this one is the antenna on the top of the head, and I make it a teeny tiny circle, and the eyes just make a dot the body you're gonna create two line close together and then make a little distance and make another two line close together and another one over here this is the b right and i like to make another one over here a little circle okay and then going up, make it nice, cute round, and going back to the face. And then on the top, okay, right in the middle here, I'm going to create going up, you turn, and going back. Going up, you turn, and going back. Okay? And then make antenna on the top of the head right here. Okay, and don't forget to make pointy one on the back of the body. Cute eye in the front. And then make two lines close together for the body. Right? And make a little distance, make another cute two line on the top right here. And make another cute two line on the back. That is the B, okay? You can make more, one here, one there, one there. And you can do yourself, okay? But for right now, I like to, okay. For the color pencil, you know what you would do if you only have color pencil? Um, watercolor, I'm going to teach you how to color with watercolor. But for right now, if you only have the color pencil, you only outline it first, okay? How can you outline it? You can outline it with the brown color pencil, okay? So you're going to outline, outline your drawing, your line, okay, with color pencil. Okay, so basically you use brown color for the outline. Okay, and just keep going and then you put them together. And then the opening right here with the brown too. And I stop right here. How about the honey? The honey, maybe we need yellow, okay? Not the brown. So I'm going to use this yellow outline whoops outline the honey inside okay you outline it and then after that you color it with yellow okay and how about all the line this line from the top you're gonna use brown you use brown and then follow your pencil line you're gonna outline it with your color pencil and i stop right here and continue it again here okay so this brown color pencil is just for the outline and then for the opening this line we're gonna color it with brown too okay and the surrounding the outside you just use the yellow you color the whole things when it's close to the line over here be careful you don't want to pass the line right so when it close to the outside you be careful but for the inside you can do it fast but 
when it goes to the outside again outside line you slowing down okay so same thing over here you just gonna color one layer at a time okay and then you make another one and make it nice and slow down when it goes to the corner just keep doing this all the way okay just gonna color it all the yellow and color it the whole things here okay make it nice and beautiful yellow for the beehives there you are how about the inside of the beehives because it's so dark that we're not seeing it we're gonna just color it black okay we color it black inside here and try not to pass the honey the one that we already colored it yellow okay now is the b do you know what color is the b right the b is yellow okay so we're gonna outline it yellow and we fill it up yellow and this one yellow 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 and yellow and then for the outside we can outline the um the brown okay so this is gonna be brown brown right for the body and then this one we're gonna fill it with the black color pencil for the stripes okay and then for the wing we can just leave it black outline the wing is normally is just uh, white okay and then the antenna we just outline it black and the eye is black there you are okay so you're gonna do every single be the same thing do the same color make it nice okay so this is the beehive all the honey inside where samson took it and ate it in the story okay now you're gonna color this the same thing but for right now if you have a watercolor i'm teaching you how to do watercolor okay for the watercolor you know what i would do i'm gonna do the sharpie brown outline it first okay so this is the sharpie i'm gonna outline the line stop here okay so this is the brown sharpie after you done with the outline of the horizontal line you're gonna also do the top one okay and then do the side one the side the side line and keep going it's right there now before you do the watercolor you're gonna make sure you outline it first okay and the inside here and i stop here for the honey we gonna change different color okay i gonna use the yellow for the honey make it the honey outline okay now i gonna start getting my brass and I pick up water. When I pick up water, when I pick up water, I drop it to paper towel a little bit. Okay, so it would not be too much water. 
Okay, now I'm gonna grab the uh, the yellow watercolor. So I'm gonna get this yellow and put the yellow on the top of this, the first one. And then I'm gonna get the second one over here. You're gonna use water to grab the paint. And now I'm gonna try to get water again. Drop it here, not too much. And I'm gonna get the yellow paint and put it right over here. Be careful that you don't want to press your brush too much that you pass the outline outside, okay? And then you do again on this inside here. Okay? And then I try to do it again on this side. And I'm gonna try to get water and I drop it here a little bit and I grab the yellow again. So basically the beehive is yellow. And you're gonna color it. Nice watercolor is very fun to have watercolor, okay? So you're gonna get this yellow going color all the bee beehives. Okay, and grab water again and drop it here and then get the yellow again. I try to finish up the outside of the beehives. There you are. Okay, and also I need to do it the honey itself. Okay, now how about I'm gonna clean up my brush because I'm changing color. How about the inside? The inside on the thickness of the beehive, I'm gonna use brown a little bit to show the thickness, okay? And also for the inside, you might use brown too if you like it, or black, okay? But I use brown inside. And I'm going to drop a little bit of yellow too. So let me see if I can put yellow the inside too. So it looks like um, a darker kind of yellowish brown. Okay, so it's looking like that. Now, how about the B? Let's see if we can outline the B first, okay? The B, I'm gonna outline it with the brown sharpie and going around on the outside of the body, okay? And I'm gonna change different color. The inside is gonna be black stripes, right? Right there. Okay, and teeny tiny eyes dot. Okay, and for the um, for the wing, I gonna outline it lightly. I don't want to make it thick. And also the antenna, I gonna outline it lightly. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab my brush and wet it and drop it to paper tower and get the yellow to color the bee yellow. So I'm gonna color it yellow for the bee. Okay, it's like that. So cute. How about the wing? Leave it white, okay? Now I do the same thing with the, the other bee. All the bee is the same thing. You outline first the body. Okay, this is brown. And then use black for the inside. Use black for the inside. 
for the stripe you know the the B body it has the stripe we gonna color it and outline it black okay and then the wing and the antenna and the eye what is next yes we are gonna get water okay and grab the yellow and then we color the B yellow and leave the wing white okay so it's looking like that last one gonna grab the brown for the other B and the body right and I'm gonna use the black for the inside for the stripes and for the antenna and for the wing okay and the little dot of the eye now I'm gonna color it yellow nice cute be with yellow color and that's it that is so nice if you want to add more B you can just call, draw a little B here a little B here a little B here after you finish the whole things then you send it to me okay but if the B flies on the outside what is the car where, where the bee, uh, the bee fly on the top is on. you see the sky right if you want to you can grab your water with your brush and grab the blue just only for the outside okay just a quick one here and you don't have to uh, do the whole things just a little bit blue here and there okay to show this is the sky right so this is the sky and when i color blue i don't want to touch the b so when it goes to the b i'm very careful i don't want to touch the b okay and you use water to just spread it spread the blue going outside okay so this is gonna be blue sky where the blue the bee just fly up to the air right and then i'm gonna try to get water again and grab the blue now i'm gonna color this blue and i gonna try to grab water to spread my blue around the around the um the bee okay so this is gonna be a blue sky make it nice okay try to use the same stroke if you're gonna use this kind of stroke like angle stroke use that stroke keep going the same one okay so that is a blue sky and then i'm gonna try to grab another blue and then spread it with water okay make it nice blue sky it's very easy right and it is fun too okay make it nice and then i'm gonna try to get the blue here and grab the water and then spread it okay make it very very nice beautiful color 
try to go inside a little bit with the blue. And that's it. There you are. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna add it up a little bit blue over here. We need more blue on the top. There. We done. Okay. Nice beehives with some bees flying on the sky. I love to see your work. Please send it to me after you're done doing this. Okay. And looking forward to have fun again with you next week. Bye, boy, boys and girls. See you next week and have fun with your family right now after you're done.